Hello everyone and welcome this morning to the Steve Taylor Community Connection Show. I am so very, very excited. We have a really, really special guest, Zena from the Fair Housing of Toledo. How you doing, Zena? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, and I'm so honored and pleased to be here. Thank you for your invitation. I really appreciate it. Anytime we get to talk about fair housing, we we get excited. <laughs> yes. And you know, it's such a pleasure to have you. And I know um, we have done some things over the years together. We're both part of several committees uh, in the city of Toledo. So we often see each other and work together. But it was it was so exciting for me to for us to come up with the idea of having you in to speak about the great work that you do in our communities. When I say you do the Fair Housing Center, you play a big part in that. So just tell us about the Fair Housing Center right now and the phenomenal work that you're doing in our community. Oh my goodness. The Fair Housing Center is the community's only anti-discrimination um, organization in housing in, in the community. And so when someone is discriminated against, be it through trying to rent, getting an appraisal, trying to secure insurance, getting a mortgage, you know, anything to do with housing yes. is what we address. And discrimination in, in that, in, in, in those um, different um, things that you need in when you're trying to purchase a home or secure a place to live so right. that you can have a home. Yeah. We just spoke about the fair housing and what that means to our community, but what are some of the services that you offer? We have, of course, our in, you know our fair housing enforcement. Yes. We enforce the Fair Housing Act. So if somebody feels as though they've been discriminated against, they would give us a call and we would take down the information, we investigate it, we um, will help with litigation if necessary. And our goal is always to educate. Okay. Because we feel as though education, you know, some people just don't know so education is a key component of what we do for Fantastic. for for all of the housing industry right. you know um, we provide classes for real estate agents we provide classes for landlords tenants um Beautiful. home buyers you know throughout the community we're invited out a lot so education is a key thing that we do in the community and raising awareness of it to, in order for us to have a vibrant, inclusive community, free of discrimination and housing <laughs> choice. I mean, that is our like our passion, <laughs> as you know, as well as addressing some issues that tenants feel that are wrong. We have our landlord tenant services program, where a landlord or a tenant can call in with the issue that they're having, and we help them to try and solve it through mediation. Most of the time, it's through education. Right. It's like going, well, tenant. This is your responsibility or landlord. This is your responsibility. So again, guess where we're at? We're at education again. So we do a lot of education. So you're not only supporting, you're educating uh, uh, yeah, a lot of your clients as well. That, that's absolutely yeah. wonderful. wonderful. I know myself uh, being a former athlete, there's certain things that, that has driven me in my career to, to want to ex excel to that next level. Things that, are, that I'm genuinely passionate about. And my next thing is, obviously, I, I want to identify and I want you to tell our audience, what are you passionate about? What drives you? I know one of the things I always say to people, I don't want to necessarily be known as a great athlete. More importantly for me, I want to be known as a humanitarian that served communities throughout the world. That is very, very important to me. Uh, so what is it that actually drives you? to do what you do well, each and every day. We have something in common. I'm crazy about humanity. I'm in love with humanity. And I think that it's important to understand that everybody brings something very special when they, when they have this love to the table. You do what you do to serve humanity. I do what I do to serve humanity. Civil rights, human rights, you know, is my passion trying to get us as a whole to be able to have the perspective of equity, understanding that equality is important. There's no doubt about it, yes. but there's also the equity portion of it. You know, one of the examples I'd like to, I'd like to use is 
you know, if all things are equal, right? Yes. We're starting at ground zero, all things are equal. But what if I'm starting at negative 25? <laughs> you got 25 <laughs> to make up before you get to zero, right? Right, so when I speak of equity, that's what I'm speaking of, yes. is what about those who aren't starting at ground zero, who don't have even an idea that there is a ground zero? <laughs> <laughs> because they've always expressed a negative. Right, they're always over here yes. and, and whatnot. So that's my passion is to hopefully progress us to a space as a whole, especially right here in my community. Yeah. Yes. to a space where we shift from talking from equality to equity and, and right. get us get the get to the root of it and yes. and and say let's let's deal with this and, and try and make this so that the equality will work Fantastic. yeah you yeah, got to have access to equal yes <laughs> right yes. if you don't have access to equal then and it just it just amazes me sitting here talking to you um I could feel your energy and your passion in regards to the job that you do. And I relate very well to people like that because I feel the same way about my position here at Taylor Automotive Family. Yeah. And mentioning Taylor, we are so, so elated to be able to support one of your biggest annual events that you I have know, coming it's, up. It's, it's gonna be oh, rocking. Right. And I just love the theme of it and I really do. And it's titled, No Place Like Home. So. That's coming up in the next couple of weeks, I believe. Yeah, August 18th. Yes, just tell us what this is about and uh, okay. what we can expect. And I'm just really, really excited to be there. Well, well. we're excited to have you as a sponsor it, and your support. Oh my goodness, is so exciting. Thank you, thank that. you, I really, thank that. you so much. So, No Place Like Home, Thursday, August 18th, five to eight at the Pinnacle. Please, if you want tickets, go online at ToledoFHC.org. You want to repeat that again? ToledoFHC.org. Okay. And go to the About, and then you're going to go to Events, and you click on that, and then there's a link there to buy a ticket. Okay. So buy tickets. Tickets are only $10. We're very committed to our, our fundraisers right. to be accessible to many people, so we keep our costs down. And when you get there, if you have red shoes on, so you're going to want to put on some red shoes, because red shoes signify the journey we all make yes. to yes. home, yes. you know? It's loosely based off of Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Yes. You know, Dorothy's whole mission was to get home. And so we we kind of stole that a little bit and we use it and we have a red shoe parade that we do and and it's really kind of a lot of fun. It's very upbeat. It's it's a non-traditional fundraiser right. in the fact that it goes from five to eight. And we call it the happiest of happy hours yeah. because everybody has so much fun. <laughs> and we want to thank the Pinnacle too because yes. they, they host this for us every year. And, it, and it's just a wonderful partnership that we have. With and, and every year you get a really good crowd there too. Oh yeah, we do. You, you know, people, we do. People are really excited about it. Oh my gosh. Well, this year we kind of did it last minute yes. because we started getting calls like, are you going to have the red shoe yes, event? Are you going to yes. have the red shoe event? And we're like, we're going to have a red shoe event. <laughs> <laughs> so we called the Pinnacle. Thank God they had a Thursday available in August yeah. for us. <laughs> and we were able to put something together and sponsors like such as Taylor Automotive Group ste yes. stepped up to the plate and whatnot. And so we were able to keep our ticket costs down like we traditionally like it to be. So that evening we have a DJ, there'll be food. The bar is a cash bar. Right. So. Just put that out there so you all know if you you know want an adult beverage, it's a cash bar, <laughs> and that's how we're able to keep the ticket right. prices down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We'll be accepting donations that evening as well. So if you want to just stop by and hand, hand us a check, we'll be happy to accommodate <laughs> you. Any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to the Fair Housing Center, and we'll be happy to answer any questions anybody has. Okay, did you want to give them a telephone number, maybe? Four one nine two four three six one. And then you want to repeat again how they can register online. They, oh, if you want to buy your ticket online, yes. you can do it two ways. You can call the center and we can take your credit card information and give you the tickets. Or you can go to ToledoFHC.org, go to the About, 
then go down to events, click on events and up will pop. There's no place like home and you click on purchase tickets and there you'll be. You can buy your tickets online. Well, Zen, it's been such a pleasure having you in today. I really, really appreciate it. Awesome. I am so grateful that we uh, here at Taylor Automotive family are going to be sponsoring um, your um, event next so, week. So. Until next time, Steve Taylor Community Connection.